Let's jump back into this thing. And here we go. There's a griffin. Whee! Boom. The viper. Okay, here we go. Boom, my kill. And now let's do this to dude as well. Here we go. Nice. Yep. We've took some damage, but we've gotten two kills. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the new Mark II level 12 max heavy corrosion weapon Viper on the Falcon. I already made a similar video on a test server, but now we can test this out on the live server against the current meta in maxed version, okay? And I think this is probably going to be a really strong setup, guys. So sit down, lean back, enjoy, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, please, and share this video with those of you who know play War Robots and might be interested interested to see this too. All right. By the way, I also have the boosters running so that we can really test this maxed. All right, here we go. So, and now I'm going to walk in with this. Here we go. Feeling as much damage as possible. So, the resistance is back up. And we're controlling the center beacon now. That's good. That is really good. Although I'm not sure how long we're going to control it because there is a full Bulgazari right in our backs. And I'm going to try and attack him right there. So here we go. That's a huge amount of damage he's supposed to take from this. But I think he blocked most of it. That's what it feels like. He blocked most of the damage. So, and they are, I think, starting to run out of robots now. I'm not sure if that's true, but we are certainly not in control of the, uh, the beacons currently. So here, three vipers shooting into this Haichi. And this one too, and then this guy. Okay, unfortunately I was unable to kill them, uh, but doing some damage that I was able to do. So I'm adding as much corrosion to him as I can. And then hopefully jumping on the beacon to get the beacon in time. Oh wow, how he focuses me is insane. The amount of focus and, and, uh, and attention he's giving me is just crazy. So we've gotten this beacon now too. The only beacon they currently still have is this one over there. So I'm doing as much damage as I can to him right there. <clears throat> and I'm just trying to suppress him from coming any closer to us here. So, that's it. I think we are GG and that's probably a win for us. So, and that's it. GG. I think we've got it. Victory. Nice. One by beacon control. Oh, that was a close one, though. And even though the enemy was a full platoon, they still lost it. Nice team we had right here. Great match! There we go. His resistance drop. Whoa! With the corrosion, we shouldn't. Yep, we did still get him there. Nice with the corrosion. That was cool. Okay, maybe we we're even able to get him still. Yep, because he wasn't at full health. Wow, nice. Uh, there's a chance our corrosion that could still kill him. He is taking... Ah, somebody else did. All right. Uh, but there was a slight chance for it, at least. All right, let's try this also in free for all, ladies and gentlemen. As usually, I spawn first here. So I, they get the first... Uh, the dips on the best spawn. And uh, we're already doing some nice corrosion damage to this Haichi. Let's see if one salvo, uh, or basically one magazine of this weapon can actually kill the Haichi completely. An Avenger would be able to do it too, and I think, yup, see? Uh, this weapon also had enough firepower in it to do that as well. Nice. That is crazy, dude. 
So there we go, dealing some decent damage to this uh, uh, Bulgazari. Not, we didn't get him killed, but look how much lo health he lost with the corrosion on top of the damage we've just done. That was actually pretty decent, man. So he dashes just to avoid two or three extra shots. And we're gonna absolutely brawl it about again. There we go. All right, he's now cloaking. That's okay, we have done enough damage. All right, let's get him from behind. Look at this. Oh man, this is this is a lot more damage than we have done before in the last attack where we had only one weapon, right? Jeez, that's a difference right there. So, okay, our resistance is now back. So he can now no longer deal a lot of damage to us. But the problem is we have a long reload going on now too. I'm actually activating the other weapons now that we can kill him quick enough. Alright, all three of them focusing on you. Man, do you have to be accurate with this thing in order to hit. Is that insane? You have to be so freaking accurate with your shooting in order to make this thing score a hit. So insane. He, he somehow managed to miss every single shot. Okay, here he used his stealth jump for no reason. That's awesome. And bye-bye. All right, got it. All right, here we go. Three times Viper doing its thing. Holy moly. Yeah, that's a full Leo going down all right. See, the corrosion is doing the rest. Nice. Interesting still, in my opinion. Once again, free fall with a Viper here on the Falcon. Let's see what we can do with this, guys. Uh, he's already locked down. All right. So he's going to stealth jump now. Um, since nobody's paying attention to me, I use the opportunity to activate my uh, weapons here and maybe get a good amount of kills here with this. Uh, I got two kills. That's uh, actually pretty good. Yep, my resistance is back up, so I can now walk back and reload in relative safety, okay? While this guy is probably getting attacked soon. Ah, okay, he already got attacked. Um, I thought that was that might have been a different person who's further behind. Alright, it's, uh, you know, free fall is about snacking the kills, or it's about just getting kills that, if possible, aren't even yours. In this case, I've gotten two of them myself relatively well here. Um, oh, he's got Orkins on it. I need to get out of his 300 meter Orkin weapon range. One, two, three, four, five. And there is the resistance dropped and my kill. Nice. All right. So we still have the 500 meter range that we can make use of here, but we don't have a target that we can hit. He's right now hiding behind that, but that's okay. We need to reload anyways. Let's keep going like, like that. We have three kills so far with the first and same robot, right? And we're not even close to being destroyed. So far, we're still really good on uh, on points and everything. We could restore some robots really fast. This is an Inquisitor, so he's going to jump. We knew that was going to come. One, two, three, four. I'm going to jump through him. Through him means he's going to lose the lock-on of his Scourge. See that? He has Scourge on this thing, and he lost his lock-on because I jumped right through him. That's a very, very well-working uh, well strategy and technique right there. Taking a bit of hits from the RDB Griffin. That's okay. I knew I was going to beat him because of uh, the fact that I could de destroy his lock-on right there. Okay, he's going to have to do something. I'm activating my weapons just so I have a... Ah, uh, okay. I knew he was going to have to either walk out or jump or do something. I don't know. And that's why I dropped my weapons, uh, basically, and used them all. Unfortunately, though, he is still standing there. Arr, I would I should have probably jumped before before I did it. Yeah, the next jump he's gonna do is gonna try to kill me in this case Okay, nice I got this kill did you know that by the way you have to aim very accurately even at longer range You have to aim very well in order to score some decent hits on um, uh, with a viper 
All right, so far he hasn't paid attention to us. Maybe we are gonna be able to snack that kill here. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Yep, nice. Well, this is going really crazy right now. This is normally, normally it doesn't run that, that well. Oh boy, ah, hey, 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 stop it. Uh, he came in from behind. Let's jump in again. And see what we can do. Oh, we have... Okay, okay. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. I, ha I have my resistance currently dropped. And he's even in stealth mode there. But uh, at least we're going to be able to get the kill. So it wasn't a complete failure. I thought he did not see me, right? That's why I activated my weapons. Because I thought, ah, he doesn't know I'm here anyway. So no threat coming from him. But there was a big threat coming from him. Oh, boy. And that's it for me again. Because the... Uh, the same Spectre, uh, not Spectre, Pursuer from before comes in and kills me again. And I have no clear line of sight with the enemies. I'm using my weapons now. I know he has used his uh, stealth before. So we can add a lot of corrosion to him. And we even got this kill with it. Nice. Okay. It was relatively ex to expect because we had the amount of damage put into him. Now we dropped our resistance. He's got a lot of uh, corrosion damage gathered inside of his robot there it's not enough to kill him i think no see he's still he's still pretty good oh no i activated my resist or dropped my resistance in the moment i need uh i get attacked from the side but this is actually not that bad because i can actually corner shoot with it now all right ah damn it okay <laughs> uh that wasn't how i planned this i knew there was going to be this guy Nah, come on. Come on. Just get hit a little bit. Just take one hit. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. He must be thinking I'm reloading or something, right? Now I am reloading. So we have an orc inspector coming in from here and he's jumping. That means we have to save ourselves and get in cover. There we go, dealing massive damage here. Boom. Got this kill. Oh, no, I could have, for a second there, I could have gotten him there. Nice. Oh, oh, ah, yes. <laughs> no more hiding for you, there, sir. He could have hidden, but he wanted to shoot me somehow. Maybe he wanted a fresh robot. Right? Could be. Yup, my kill. <laughs> He's probably so mad at me right there because I get all the kills. Now I can corner or shoot over this obstacle here and not even expose myself to his firepower. I'm safe here around this, this little uh, power plant thing. And the corrosion is still eating through his robot. I know that he had used his stuff before. He has no stealth, so now I can catch him. Oh, he has stealth again. Oh boy. But I got him. Stealth denied. Nice. <laughs> Didn't expect that. I thought he still has a long cooldown on himself, by the way. That really uh, got me good right there. Let's do the same thing we did before. I jump up there and seek cover behind that uh, whatever it is that, I, that helps me stay safe, right? I would assume he's going to jump to the right and jump at me or something, but so far, he's not doing it yet. All right, so that should be enough corrosion for him already. Uh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, he showed himself just for a second too long right there. So, what is he coming with now? What's it gonna be, my friend? Ah, uh, he's not showing himself. Alright, I'm reloading my weapon in the middle. He is a second, so he's gonna have to come, right? He's gonna have to make his move. But you know what? I don't. I don't care. Let's let's just walk over him uh, to him and attack him. It looked like an Inquisitor, and it looked like a Redeemer. What I saw on top of it, but it, I could be wrong. It's just so far away and so small. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's like that's what it is. Yep, I was right. It's the Inquisitor, and it has a Redeemer on it. So here it is. One salvo. Two. Three. He's got eight salvos. Four, five, six, seven, and now the eighth last salvo, and that's it. Reload for him. And that's a good five seconds for me, more than enough time to drop my resistance and end the match for him. 
If you know that the Tyrants and Redeemer have exactly eight salvos, you can use that knowledge against them and make sure they won't even be able to draw to shoot some real damage into your um, robot when the resistance is not active. So yeah, the Viper here, guys, with um, on the Falcon, a lot of damage they can do. Although the Ave Avenger does a lot more damage in just direct firing, uh, but you have the chance to add a little bit extra damage here with the. Um, uh, with the corrosion and keep in mind one thing you need to you don't need to go through energy shields with the viper so that is yet another advantage overall i think the uh, avenger and viper aren't far away from each other they're both extremely good and uh, i personally probably prefer a little bit the avenger but that's just my opinion right now and i'm just gonna uh yeah say thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for bearing with me. you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off Bye-bye.